All right, folks, you should really be proud of yourselves. You handled a tornado outbreak like a champ in the middle of a coronavirus outbreak. Eight tornadoes now in our area alone, no one seriously injured. And we're pretty proud around here, too. Check this out. I want to show you this. Uh, it's now official. JBE has declared the good stuff essential. That's official documents, I think, from Baton Rouge, I'm pretty sure. So no wearing pajamas all day around here, just waiting for the next Zoom to office conference call. Nope, that's not how I operate. If the good is rising, I'll be there with my camera, even in the middle of a twister. This is unprecedented times we're, we're going through. Unprecedented, uncertain, and any other unword you can think of right now. Big shelter, we're getting a possibility of a tornado. Like untimely, how Easter Sunday delivered this uneasy distraction from our stay at home orders. Here's your circulation showing up here near Arcadia. Just now, the Envil Parish Sheriff's Office got on scene. My stormy road trip that day coming to an abrupt halt in Arcadia with twister slunk trees all over the interstate. What you gotta do. And everyone watching the live stream noticed exactly what I did. Otherwise, she's gonna be sitting in my car, so doing what I can to help. Even before police got on scene, drivers took matters into their own hands. How the good people came together to get it done. Nothing but God, nothing but God. There we go. An unbelievable understatement. We've seen an unbelievable amount of humility being displayed in the community. Like the unforgettable moment that played out in this grocery store parking lot last week, starring an exhausted hospital worker still in her scrubs. And I went to the door and the young man told me that they were closed. And I guess I just hung my head down. And Dejected by missing closing time by 15 minutes, Brookshire staff ran outside, told her to come in, unceremoniously running around shopping for her. It means everything to us. And the show of support is very, very important to us. It, it lifts us up and it brightens our day. Unexpected, right? About like an Easter buddy handing out lunches to the homeless in Shreveport over the weekend. Zach, come here, come out in the front yard. Or the unflappable nature of Zach from Spring Hill, who turned 11 on Sunday. And I can tell you had a sneaky suspicion something was about to happen. This is the way for something. I know something's about to happen. At first I was speechless, and then here came the fire truck. <laughs> Mom was determined to make this birthday anything but uneventful. It's been wonderful. Uh, one of our goals is to create new memories. Happy birthday! <laughs> because many of Zach's early years, let's just say, left him unsure of his future. Why was it so important to bring Zach into your family? He's brought a lot of joy to our lives. You see, a little more than a year ago, Zach's unanswered dreams were finally realized when he was adopted by the Harris family. In the past years, Everything has gone wrong. Now everything's starting to go right. Even at a time when everything just seems so wrong in the world. Isn't that pretty amazing how that works out? I'm just mind blown. You know, these birthday parades are anything but uninspiring. Who in the world were all these people? I don't know. <laughs> They're coming out of the cracks. And an uninhibited way to tell Grandma, we love you. And happy 80th birthday. Oh, you don't even look 40. Whoa. <laughs> and an unsuspecting way to remind Patricia of the love all around her just months after the unimaginable. It's Remember. been a rough year. Ten months ago, we lost my dad unexpectedly. Ooh, so sorry. Her husband of 60 years, Air Force veteran, Gino Fairbanks. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Surprise, surprise. <laughs> they got you. They got me. They got me good this year. She's been stuck in the house for three weeks, so we just needed to do something for her. An unconditional show of love because of an unwavering. <laughs> They're not done. <laughs> Undeniable effort. A lot of horn for a little car. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Nobody from the governor's office has walked in yet. Uh, keep them coming. Until we beat this COVID thing into the ground, I'll continue sharing the good rising, the secret. You just got to let me know about it. You can find me on Facebook right there. Message me, Doug Warner, KSLA.